great, terrific. And now his son is in Hollywood. I'm very close to his son and his wife. The wife is an actress from Italy, and they've moved into Los Angeles, and I'm helping him meet a lot of producers because now he wants to do what his father does, but he's going to do it in Hollywood because the film industry in Rome is very slow. Mm -hmm. So he's there, very talented, unbelievable music, beautiful music, like his father. His father wrote me a letter, you know, about the other son. He has two sons. One son is in New York studying screenwriting, you know. Um, and Ennio's getting up there now in years, you know. Yeah. Um, I think I'm the only person besides Sergio, the only director he's ever done three movies for. Yeah. He's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. If you get the butterfly packet, there's an interview with him on it. You know, that's very interesting. Um, in Butterfly, you, you had some very interesting visual moments. Um, like, for instance, the scene when uh, Stacy Kitch and Pia Zadora, uh, they go inside the old mine. You shoot it from the inside, all in black. And then they open the door, the door the, yeah. and slowly do it yeah. the image. Um, uh, it has a very expressionistic effect. Uh, were you inspired by any film in particular? Was just uh, uh, something that uh, came uh, out? No, not really. I think I had seen a painting. Oh yeah. I'm, I'm very inspired a lot by by paintings, not French paintings. <laughs> Italian ones. <laughs> Italian ones, British ones, American ones. No, I, I did, there's a lot of area of French paintings I do love. I only like to, to jazz them a little bit. I don't like the Impressionists. I like the Romantics. Mm. And I and my, well, probably my favorite painter in the world is Toulouse-Lautrec. I love the characters and the face because that's the kind of thing I'm interested in, you know? Uh, no, I just had this vision of it, and of course I made a terrible mistake in that shot. And it wasn't in the photograph, but I learned about it later when somebody came up and nudged me a little bit and said, you know, I love your film. He said, but I gotta tell you something. He said, there are no rats in the mines. Oh. <laughs> Because remember, she's walking in, and you hear, tweet, 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 and she says, "Oh, what are those? Is rats?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are... Wrong. Well, Wrong. Only a miner would know that. Exactly, <laughs> and there was a miner who said, "So, so, so." Uh, I always say this in interviews: I, say, I made a mistake. I, you know, I put the only because I wanted her to seem like a little more daring that she was getting in there. Yeah. You know? I like Abbott and Costello. <laughs> I like uh, Some Like It Hot. I like, if you're talking about films that I enjoy, yeah. I like Sergio Leone. I love The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. I love uh, a film that most people don't know. It's too bad in Europe they should know. There are two films. One is called um, Inherit the Wind. Yeah. It's one of the most brilliant films that you watch. Tracy. And Frederick March, to mm -hmm. watch those two actors together is the greatest acting lesson in the world. And the other is another film that I wanted to play here. It's called To Kill a Mockingbird. But as far as great films, I think my favorite director is David Lean. Uh, I think the best, the, the greatest film ever made when you take all the elements that make a film, story, theme, actors, directing, lighting, production, okay, music, there is no film that could top Lawrence of Arabia. Lawrence of Arabia to me has all the elements of film that are brilliant. And what sets it aside from something like Gone with the Wind or Dr. Chiwago is the fact that the theme is so incredible. Like, you know, the, the, the theme being that no man can be God, okay? 
is so powerful and strong. So when you put all those elements together, you know, you realize what a great film it is. Um, and I like David Lee in films. I like the way he makes a film. Have you seen any Portuguese films? Yes, unfortunately not ones I'm happy with. Well, I like Oliveira. I mean, how could you not like him? You know, you have to say God bless him and, and you know, I hope he goes for another hundred years. It's fabulous. Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, uh, back when I was shooting those films, w we were considered out of the mainstream, okay? I mean, you have to remember, it was Hollywood when they really thought that Rock Hudson wanted to go to bed with Doris Day. Doris Day. And Rock Hudson had no interest, but America was so naive, you know? We were so naive until we, we, we hit those 60s and 70s and we started understanding that the world was a little different. So uh, now what happens is our type of film has become the mainstream of Hollywood, except that they've got the huge budgets that the studios would never give us. But that's no excuse, because I have to tell you, I think Tarantino has taken filmmaking to a much higher level, not with Inglorious in Bastards. Glorious Bastards is just a crazy dream that's fun to watch, okay? But Kill Bill uh, has integrated so many elements of filmmaking, and Tarantino has such a touch with music. His dialogue and his music set him aside from anybody else.